So let's go ahead and give this a name. Um, I'm going to call it results so we know exactly what we, we're talking about. So we've got this search form, we've got this keyword field, we're finding the match every time we press a key down and we're displaying that in results. So we've uh, named the um, elements of our, uh, of our page correctly so we can sort of remember them a bit later on. So like I said, we've got this find match function that we need to create up here. So let's go ahead and open up a script tag and then go and close our script tag. And the type is obviously text forward slash JavaScript because Ajax is um, JavaScript and XML. Okay, so now what we're gonna go and do is uh, create our function name, which we've called down here find match. So we can just start a new function. Oh, in the wrong place there. So we can start a new function called find match. It's not going to take any parameters because uh, this function is unique to this field. So we don't need to take any uh, parameters to say, you know, pop it somewhere or like we did in the uh, the example where we um, where we created our Ajax code last time. We we put two um, arguments into here to say um, what file to grab and also. Uh, where to put the data so we don't need to do that because we can we can do that f just for the purpose of this of this um, this search but you're welcome to modify obviously the fine match to suit your website's uh, needs okay so the first thing we need to do is check for a uh, request so we do uh, we say if window dot XML HTTP request so remember the case sensitivity of this we've got capital H XML and H and a capital R here uh, the um, the code inside of here is going to be case sensitive so be very 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 careful or your um, program may not run correctly so uh, we've got an if and then we're gonna have it else there so this is just for different browser support but in this case we say XML HTTP is equal to uh, new XML HTTP P request and then we put our parentheses on here otherwise XML HTTP is equal to a new um, ActiveX object so ActiveX object and we feed in one argument which is Microsoft dot XML HTTP in capitals okay so we've done that that set our XML HTTP variable. Now what we want to do is we want to check for the state, the ready state of our XML HTTP because we're going to be uh, submitting data through to this. So we need to check for that. So what we do is we say XML HTTP um, and we say dot on ready state. And then what, what's happening is we're going to equal this to a function and we're going to have no parameters in this, but the function is going to be inside of here. So when um, when we are ready to do this, uh, sorry, this is on ready state change, by the way. I uh, just noticed that there. So um, on uh, on on the state change of uh, our XML HTTP, um, which is our uh, H XML HTTP request object, we need to complete the function inside of these parentheses. So the function is first of all, we need to make a check. So uh, we need to check the ready state and the status of this. So we need to say if XML HTTP dot ready status is equal to uh, four and XML HTTP dot uh, uh, status. Sorry, this is state. I'm uh, I'm confusing things. So we've got ready state equals four. And we've got the XML HTTP dot status is equal to 200. This is just to ensure that data is being returned. Um, if data isn't returned, we don't need to carry out the following block inside here, which is grabbing the element by ID, which is the element that we're going to be putting the data into is our results div. So what we're doing is we're saying document because we're speaking about the overall document. Uh, and then we're saying get ele oh, element by ID and we need to get the element by ID which let's go down here and check we have called this uh, results so I should have known that because I did name them so I could remember them okay so we need to type in results in here and then what we need to do is we need to um, say dot inner HTML and dot inner HTML is basically um, HTML inside of this div so we're changing this so we're making that equal to um, XML HTTP dot and its response uh, value 
of response text, so the value of the text in response. So x, x, xml HTTP dot response text. Okay, so we're done with that for now. Now we need to come down and actually send this data. So we need to test it first because we don't know if our uh, our code just around here works at the moment. So the first thing we're going to do is XML HTTP and then we're going to say dot open. And you'll rem remember this from the last uh, tutorial, hopefully. We've got three parameters. The first one is the method. So we're using get and we're going to be using this um, uh, into this tutorial as well. Now is the file. So we've got up here, we've got search.ink.php. There's nothing in it at the moment. So search.ink.php. And the next is if you want to uh, send this data asynchronously. So we do. So we're going to just type true. By default, it's true. So you can leave it out. But I always like to put it uh, just in there. Now we say xml uh, http.send and we're done. So now what we can do is test this out.